all your feedback. And yes, welcome to our final panel, which is the sector panel discussion. Um, and we're going to be talking about using media as to drive impact and change. My name is Alex Okoroji. I am the G100 Global Chair for Media, Arts and Communication. And I'm so excited and honored to have you here at the Global Launch. It's been an amazing, amazing event. We started with our session one where we welcomed, uh, we welcomed our Global Advisory Council, the members of the Global Advisory Council. You met some of them. Of course, we are as well welcome to our country club. Please, could you please mute your mic if you're not on? Um, okay, I know what I'm gonna do. So, again, I'm glad to welcome all of you. I'm happy to welcome all of you. Have you here? We have a, a, an amazing guest panel where we had some of the speakers from other G100 wings leading the arts leadership wing, the um, communication advocacy wing, the circular economy engineering, our denim, part, our denim club partner for engineering, and of course, our motivation and mentorship and motivation. And they shared from their heart, their experiences, the idea of, of communication, the value, the purpose, the reason why we are here. And of course, you know, shared, reminded us of our journey and where we're coming from. And of course, in this last panel, we're going to be talking about using media ads to drive impact and change because for many of us, we are, um, this is our domain, this is our sector. And I would like to, you know, jump into our first who is now part of the house. He's a special guest, but he's also now part of the house for the future. So I'm gonna quickly jump to Ike Nabwe. Now Ike, Ike Nabwe is a celebrated film director, screenwriter, and producer, regarded as one of the champions of emerging new African cinema. He's a founder and CEO of Love Portion Creative Herbs, Hobbs, sorry. He's also the founder of Passion Aid Communications Limited, a premium media content production company based in Lagos, Nigeria. EK's recent film, Sink or Swim, won Best Narrative Feature at the 2017 New York International Film Festival and has received several nominations and official selections at notable international film festivals around the globe. Now, Sink or Swim is an epic, thought provoking movie about illegal migration and human trafficking. And the film has, um, has been has won an intercontinental has an intercontinental cast from Ghana, Nigeria, Kenya, Tanzania, South Africa, Zambia, and Cote d'Ivoire. Ik is the founder of Treasure Wells Academy and the host of Breaking Into Nollywood with Ik Nabwe's workshop, which he has successfully hosted in Lagos, New York, Atlanta, and Dallas. Ik is also very passionate about sharing with young Africans the know-how and how to make smartphone filmmaking and so much more. Ik, look, I know that your bio is really like um, here's the thing. I, that's the thing about reading bios about success because we can go on and on and on and on and on. I know you recently, you know, you you got this honorable mention in this. You do you're doing too many things anyway. So I'm just gonna bring you. I'm gonna take. Let me see. I'm just gonna bring you a little to the. Can I pin you? Let me see. I just want to pin you so that we can see you pretty well, um, and let you take the floor. So I'm just gonna let you take the floor, um, <laughs> and share a little bit about us. Share a little bit with us. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you so much, Alex. Um, thank you to all my soul sisters <laughs> and all my brothers. Um, I, I think that Mia, it's such a powerful thing. I, I consider some of us that work um, in the media as actually highly privileged. Um, more and more, I'm beginning to understand the power of the storyteller. And basically, that's what media is about. It's about telling stories. It's about shaping narratives, you know. And, and society has no bearing without the media. Society can only move to the direction that the media wants the society to move. And so that tells you the power that we have as storytellers, as media people. It means that we have the power to shape minds. And, and if we do believe this is a better world that we can create, then of course media is the, the, is the, is the way to go. Um, I started to fall in love with the, the art of storytelling from a very, very tender age. Um, back in my grandmother's kitchen, which she would tell tales by like, you know, like beautiful tales by the fireside, you know, all the stories about animals that talk, <laughs> you know, and, and all of that. And at the end of every story, there's always something that she would say. It's like the morale of the story. This is so you learn not to be uh, um, 
uh, not to be um, envious, for instance, or this is this story teaches you not to, you know, want to own everything to yourself. Teaches you how to share. You know, just those little little things that help to shape you as a human being. And and so I I understood that there was something powerful about storytelling you know and and i just loved it and then of course my mom would tell her own stories and everything and i just as a child i just i knew i don't know how i got this thing but i just felt like i had a message i had something to say and i just felt like i'd found the right medium for it and and i just stayed with it that's why what I do today, it's like second nature because that's just all I've known. That's literally all I do. Everything I do is, is just about storytelling. Um, whether it's even I'm doing brand videos or whatever, it's still storytelling. It's still, you know, pushing narratives and all of that. And it's so interesting if you noticed the stories that I've already told right now. It's about, I've already mentioned two women, my grandmother. <laughs> my mother, nothing about my father or any of my uncles. <laughs> so that also helps you to understand how I see women, you know. Um, I, I, women, I've, I've had the opportunity to um, be, um, to work or to be around very powerful women, very, very strong women. And so I, I just naturally see women, I don't like, it's not something I think about when I work with women. I just work with women because they can deliver, whoever they can deliver. You know, it's not about, it's not a gender thing for me. It's never been a gender thing. In fact, in, even in the industry, in Nollywood, um, I got my first chance. It was a woman that gave me my first chance. Um, Alex Uche Jumbo was the first person that actually gave me my major chance to become a director in Hollywood. And of course, because she was such a powerful figure in the industry at the time, it was such a big platform for me because it meant that other people trusted me to make films for them. And, and I ended up still working with a lot of women until today I still work with a lot of women. I have women in my partnerships. I have women in my organization, you know, in top roles. And it's just, to be honest, I have never really sat down and said, okay, this is the quota for women in what I'm doing, or I'm working on this project, I need 30% women or 50% women. But I just don't think like that. It just happens, you know, and whoever gets the job gets the job. The point is we need to get the job done, you know. Um, so I, I would say that two things are, are very important in what I'm trying to say. The fact that I do sincerely believe that the power to shape the world belongs to the media, belongs to the storytellers, belongs to all of us in this room. And then I do believe that there is really not much we can do without men and women working together. These are just my core beliefs. And thank you so much, Alex, for inviting me. And I think I'm gonna have fun um, working and you know, just giving my, my energy and my time and whatever that will be required. Thank you. Thank you so much, E.K. Thank you so much for, you know, just honoring us with your presence and sharing this story with us because it's so important for us to see how men, how, you know, some of you men are shaped and to see that women are very uh, are core core drivers in your life. They've shaped some of the ways that you, and you can tell even just by the way, the, the men who honor women, you can see why they honor women. It's so easy to see why they believe that women are the way they are. Clara said something in the group. She, say, she says, E.K. Nabwe refers to every woman around him as a queen. And that's true. Every time he says something to he goes, hey, queen, queen, you know, that's how he refers to all of us. Like, he's like, queen this, queen that, you know, and I go back, I'm like, hey, king, that's, you know, he's, when he says that he genuinely, he does genuinely, truly see women as, you know, even when I see him post stuff, you know, things about his work, I see the way the women, that's such, that's his, I'm being really, it's not a very easy, especially when you come from Africa with the whole, you know, with 
patriarchy and the way it is, <laughs> just to see a man that really does honor women. That's truly how he does refer. When she said that, I, I was laughing because that's true, actually. <laughs> so thank you so much for, you know, you know, joining <laughs> us and for sharing. You also talk about the power of storytelling. And that's true. You know, we say that we're gatekeepers of information. I remember I was talking to someone in a meeting a couple of days ago and they were saying, oh, you know, art. And I said, sometimes when people talk about art, people talk about art and say that art is just about entertainment. That's more part of media. But it's just like, like media is just about it. No, it's also about education. And if you think about it, it's usually the first form of education that a child actually um, experiences when they come into the world. The books, the stories, the movies, the music you hear, it's always the first, media is the first form of interaction you have even before formal education. The nursery rhymes, the books, the story books, the, you know, these are the things that as babies we come in contact with. So we are the gatekeepers of information. We frame the narrative, we shape the narrative and it's our, we are the one who hold you know, even how women are seen and perceived and represented and misrepresented, it's our, you know, we have the pen, we have the power now to say, we want to reshape, we want to reframe the narrative. Now we can drive the conversation in a different direction. How about we, this is how we want to talk about, this is how we want to present women. This is how we need to present, you know, gender balance, create balance for men and women to work equally together. No more gender wars, no more, we don't need this anymore. We just need people to get the work done and for us to achieve our success together thrive together. So thank you so much for um, joining us. And yay, she says, yeah, our denim partner for Nigeria. <laughs> so they're, they're already congratulating your denim partner for Nigeria. I know Dixie, you're here. Dixie, you didn't have a chance to say anything in the first session. And I know that I'm going to get you. I know, I know. I really want you to say something, but I'm going to quickly do something because I know Stella has to go somewhere and she really, you know, we're just going to jump in this and then Dixie, you're going to come in and then, you know, we're going to I was hoping that you all be here to get the toast because we have to toast. I hope you have your glass of wine, juice, water, tea, coffee, whatever it is. Cause you know, we, I think we've said so much today, actually. I don't feel like we need to say so much more, which is going to just say a little few words. And of course, this is just the beginning of so much more. We still have another event, which is our launch of our projects. And, you know, I wanted to use the opportunity to share a little bit about the projects. We have a podcast coming up. We have a magazine, the G Woman magazine. We've got the G so podcast coming together. We've got our G series where we're going to be inviting more of our leaders across. We're going to keep having more of these events, getting together with more people, connecting across the board, collaborating with so much more. We have our G fund and our G prize. And I know that our director of projects and events, Dixie Glass, she's in, she's in charge of that. And of course, there's so much. So we're going to meet again, definitely going to meet again. And this is just the first of so much. I just wanted a situation where we could introduce ourselves to the world and people get to learn a bit about us and what we're doing. And we can, you know, really wrap this up. So, so I'm just going to have Dixie. Dixie, I'm going to just introduce you because I know I didn't introduce you in the last session. I'm going to quickly do that. I know you're not going to say much. I know Stella's not going to say much. Then we're going to just do, you know, a quick, um, uh, what's it called? Toast. Clara, are you here? Because I don't know. I can't see you. You're not on camera. Um, so just get ready. So I'm just going to quickly do this. Um, Dixie Gillespie and Dixie, I don't know if I pronounced your last name correctly, but forgive me, please. Um, now she is the author of Just Blow It Up, a firepower, oh, sorry, Just Blow It Up, Firepower for Living an Unlimited Life and co-author with Dr. Joe Dispenser. Dr. Bini Sigurl and others of the thought that changed my life forever. Now she is a past member of the Forbes, uh, Forbes Coaches Council and has been an executive editor for the Good Men Project and a weekly columnist for entrepreneur.com. Her articles have been featured in numerous publications, including the House Post, Fox News, Thrive Global, and Maria Shiver. Now she's a TEDx presenter of feminine traits and the business economy. And in 2017, she was honored as a woman of the decade in enterprise and innovation by the Women Economic Forum. Mm -hmm. Now, Dixie's 30 years as a business leader, leader, sorry, and entrepreneur combined with her deep passion for creation, innovation, and bringing out the highest and best in her fellow humans, add a wealth of inspiring wisdom and grounded pragmatism of her enterprises, sorry. Now, Dixie's work as a coach and consultant has spanned nearly 30 years of activating human power and building successful businesses. Beginning in 1994 as a business analyst and a management consultant for US-based national consulting firm, which she left in 1998 to build her own consulting practice. After shifting her focus to leadership coaching, she co-founded Return to Your Power, working with business and social leaders to consciously create new realities in life and business. Now she holds certifications as, as a magnetic mind coach, a chatter human team activator, and a soul language practitioner. Um, 
a Shatter Human Activator and a Soul Language Practitioner. She's also the creator and primary coach for the Super Creators Transformation Program, a process of claiming innate gifts, transforming old identities, and stepping into your truth and power to create anything you love. Uh, thank you so much, Dixie. I know that you know you couldn't say anything in the first session because we had to quickly, you know, kick you out. Give you know, kick you out. Sorry, not kick you out, but we had to end the session. And um, so I'm just, you know, just I'm just gonna let you say something quickly, and so that we can just, you know, get this moving. Hi, Dixie. Can you hear us? No, your audio. We can't hear you. Do you hear her? I think she's muted. muted. No, she's not. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm going to mute you. I'm going to mute. Is it showing you mute? She's not muted. No, it isn't the same. Okay, I'm going to mute you and then try and unmute yourself. Let me try that. And then you're trying to mute yourself. Um, we just wanted to hear you speak quickly. Okay, would you unmute yourself? Oh, no. Dixie, maybe you can also call Alex uh, on WhatsApp and then she can put the audio uh, for us to hear. You can what? Uh, call you on WhatsApp and then you can uh, put the speaker on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you wanted to call me on WhatsApp so she can. <laughs> that's an interesting one. Um, <laughs> that's an interesting one. You know, we wanted to really hear Dixie speak. I don't know. Maybe you want to. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna quickly jump to Stellar, and here's what you can do: try and come back in. Right. See if you can come back in. Make sure that you check your audio as well. Make sure your audio setting is, you know, because I, I think that happened too for me. I'm not sure. Check your video. Check your audio. So I'm just quickly gonna jump to Stellar. Um, quickly. Okay. Um, Hi. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, we can hear you. Okay. So uh, a lot has been said already, so I'm not going to waste <laughs> your time. Um, I'm just very delighted, as I said before, to be a part of this. When Alex first called me to do this, I was scared because when she explained the magnitude of the work, I still don't have it all right now. I, I'm like, how are we going to achieve all of this? And she says, we can. And then when I started seeing the number of people coming together to make this happen, I was like, okay, now I can breathe easy. Um, I'm just going to run through a few of the things that I had mentioned to Alex that we're going to be looking at and working on and looking forward to working with the different beautiful women and men in the different departments. Um, like she said, the podcast, the magazine, we're thinking of workshops, conferences, mentoring, a lot of Younger women need mentoring, um, documentaries. We have filmmakers, we have short films, books, anthologies, um, creating meetups for the different countries, the different zones, um, fundraisers, black tie events. We would require a theme song for the G100 and have a music video where women, all of us from different parts of the world would be a part of the video, recording our own parts and sending to create something beautiful with a strong theme. Um, even art competitions, um, these are all the things that I'm thinking of in my head. And um, then the awards, like she said, you know, and all of that and many more to come. But knowing that I'm confident in writing all of these things because I'm a big ideas person, but I always get scared, like, how do we achieve this? But looking at everyone here and knowing everyone here, our different strengths, our talents, our skills, I know that together we can drive this message. We can make the change. We can be the change we want to be and make the change and impact the lives of other people who are looking for people to speak for them, stand for them and transform the world. So I'm grateful once again, and I'm glad to be a part of this with all of you. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you so much, Stella. Thank you for sharing that. Stella is our director of content. So of course you expect that, you know, she's coming up with ideas and some of the things that we can do together. Some of it that we've mentioned, but there are more things that we need to do, like the documentary, the black tie event. Who doesn't want to go to one? I want to go to one black tie <laughs> Right. But even, you know, the mentoring for, you know, the, the arts competition, there's just so much that we can do to continuously engage each other and create a synergy across, um, our sect, you know, across the sector, across our country chapter, our country clubs, but across the sector as a whole. And of course, we have everyone here who's equipped. We have filmmakers, writers, directors, tech. We have everything. We really, really don't lack anything, right? We don't lack. We have 
all the tools that we need to move. And we have more people joining us every day. Our wing, our sector is growing. We have a new country chair who's going to be coming in from Luxembourg. Thanks to our director of partnership, Tammy. You know, and we have somebody who's probably going to from Brazil. So we're going to have our sisterhood is growing, our brotherhood is growing. Of course, each country club, our uh, each country chair is bringing, um, you know, their own Denny Club partner as well. So. EK, you're not going to be alone. You're going to have brothers as well for all the countries. And that just means that this is great. You know, you're going to have brothers in other countries as well. We already have our denim, our global denim partner, Yuri. And of course, I know Ghana very soon is going to be telling us who our denim club partner for Ghana is. Same for England and same for USA and same for all of the country, you know, country clubs. So this is huge. This is a huge network and it's a huge network where we can all collaborate and do so much together. So I'm just going to quickly see this. Um, somebody who said in the chat room, media is so powerful, period. It is our time to use media to reshape the narrative. Um, Adobe said, oh, Dr. Joe Dispenza is just brilliant. And so is Elena Cadon. Oh, OK, I guess this was about <laughs> this was about uh, uh, Dixie's uh, uh, by consciously creating a powerful narrative to celebrate women. Joe is brilliant. Dixie must be, too, because he worked with her. Okay, Dixie, <laughs> did you hear that? Oh, she's worked with amazing people, by the way. She's a fire starter. She's a fire. I just know that. Dixie, you're okay. So can you, can you, can you still can't hear you? This is your audio. Are you using, um, you know, you I don't know. You want to leave something in the chat. Have you, have you tried to unplug and plug in your headset? Again, make sure Maybe it's all unplug, the way in. unplug and plug your headset. Are you using a headset? I see a wire. It's not yeah. going in anywhere. Yeah, you you have a you your have headphones. a headset on. You have your headphones on. Dixie, you have your headphones on. Do you want to check plug in and answer. plug it back out? Maybe there's something, or maybe it's not picking, you know, oh, it like runs maybe... off for Yadi. Okay. It runs off her mic. Oh, it runs off Yeti. Okay. Oh, you you tested the mic the first time, and did you hear yourself when you were testing? Did you you could did you get to the third screen? So what's going on? Um, Maybe this program didn't like. Let me mute her again know. and try. Let me mute you and then try to unmute. Okay, well, we're really looking forward to hearing from you. So I think we've 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 said so much. Frankie, do you want to add anything to all that has been said? Um, do you want to add while we're waiting for Dixie to connect? Do you want to say something? Clara, are you here, sis? Because I feel like we don't see you in the bubble. You're 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 there, but your your camera's turned yeah. off. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> you're here now. Where where okay? I see you now. Yeah, let Clara talk. Okay, Clara. Um, I'm just gonna allow you to say I'm gonna pin you to um just one second. Oh, let me, let me, oh, what did I do? Oh, <laughs> I'm not sure what I did. What did I do now? Okay. I guess I'm learning. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm learning. I'm learning. Oh, okay. So, oh, why am I here? No, I need to kick myself out. Sorry, I'm, I'm in the bubble. So I don't mind. I don't need to be here. Let me put Natalie's pretty face. Um, okay, so um, Frankie, you, did you say you have something to say? Yes, no, nothing. I don't really have anything more to add to, <laughs> add to what everything I said. Say. There's nothing new to say. I mean, do you have something else to say before we wrap this up, um, Natalie? Do you have something else to say before we wrap this up? I know Clara is going to make a toast, um, and um, so just before we get the Dixie, are you if once you can say something, once we hear you, well, let's try it. Oh, yay! yay she's there. <laughs> Yay. Right. I have no idea what's different. Wow. So that's the weird thing. It's I, I I don't know what I did. I just kept pushing buttons until I thought there was hope. Which uh, is kind of how I do everything. Oh, let's put her back in the window. There you go. Uh okay. it has been such an amazing delight to meet all of you. I mostly just have a lot to learn. I just agreed to take this on this week. So <laughs> um, but I can tell you all this. When I see, and you know, when I did the TEDx, one of the things that people really resonated with, I think, is just saying that, you know, a gender war is always a zero-sum game. Like so many of you, it's not about women over men or as a preference. It's, it's really about how we bring a structure that supports all people equally 
into what's normal. And I love what you're saying about story because, you know, we turned to story in our earliest days to figure out how the world works. And so much of story tells us that this is how the world works and this is the structure of the world. And it's through story and through media and through how we communicate story that we're going to create a new structure that people can believe in that does support all people equally. And I just, I'm just so honored to be part of this and to hear all of you speak. So thank you for keeping at it and coming back to me and just letting me, letting me say that and what an honor it is to, uh, to have been able to be part of this, but also I know Harbin wasn't able to be here. I just have to say the first time I heard her voice, the first chat we had, I knew that any vision she had was something that my soul would call me to be part of. So I didn't know how that would, how that would look or how that story would, uh, would play out, but this is obviously it. So I know that I know that she's here in spirit, and I just uh, I just had to say thank you to Harbin for opening those doors. So I'll make that really short, Alex. <laughs> thank you so much, Dixie. Cresta, I, I just see that you're here because you didn't get to talk. Are you here? Um, I, I I don't know if Cresta is here because we have the problem with Cresta. Do you know if I can bring you back up? Um, I just want to make sure that everyone at least has, you know, one minute to say something, be seen, be heard, because she's been working in the background. She's our director of operations, kicking my butt at the back end, just making sure this stuff is happening. And now that we have Dixie here, who is director of project and events, I know I'm in trouble. However, this is going to be amazing because she's a fire starter. And all of you who have been worried about structure, we've got people here, amazing women. And this is, the ball is moving. We started this already. So there's no going back. Um, Cresta, you here, sis? I've been here, but my volume um, is acting funny. Oh, she says her volume is acting funny. I wish I could bring you up stage just quickly before we wrap this up. We, we you know, we're gonna end with Clara just doing a toast. And um, Cresta, I don't see you. Oh, is Alia here? Alia, is Alia back on stage? I just added her to the stage. I just added her. She's supposed to be here. Okay, Alia is muted. Um, I don't. Oh, she's back up. Alia. Yeah, I was looking for you. you I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> We've been looking for you. Okay. Um, so, um, Cresta, you want to try again? I don't see you in the, I don't see you backstage because I want to add you on, at least make sure you say something. I just want to make sure that everyone says something. Meanwhile, thank you, Dixie, for accepting, you know, the role to join us and to do this. And you have a wealth of experience that I know that we're definitely going to need. And, you know, I'm happy that you're here. So I'm happy everyone is here and that we're able to do this. Alia, do you have something you want to say before we wrap this? Do you, is there something you want to say you'd like to say? Me, I know you're there, me. Is there something you want to say before we wrap this up? <clears throat> Sorry, sorry, I was having issues with my button there, sorry. Um, you know, sorry, I did have to take, I had to deal with something with my daughter quickly and I, I did have to step away, but just knowing all the exciting things that we are doing and creating together, as I had said earlier, it is an honor, but you know, to, to have today to really spend time hearing about your stories and where you come from, why you're doing this, and, you know, and I think that's key. We all are inspired by our own lives, right? And any extraordinary capability comes from the flaws that we have, that we consider flaws. And so I just want to say thank you. And I look forward to all the things that we are doing together. I look forward to being in London next week and just really um, being a sponge and then taking, bringing it back to the USA and spreading and getting ready for all the amazing products and things that we are doing together, projects we're doing together. So thank you. Thank you so much, Alia. Alia is our USA country chair. Um, Dixie, just letting you know, I know you're just, Alia is the USA country chair and Dixie is our director of projects and events. Tammy is our director of partnerships. Natalie Ford is our Ghana country chair. Frankie Picasso is our director of communications. Uh, Clarify is our director of strategy and planning. Uh, let me see who else is here. Start is our director of content. E.K. Nabwe is our, is our Denny Club partner, Denny Club country partner for Nigeria. Yay. 
Um, and um, let me see who else is. Me's our, uh, our country, our UK country chair. So um, I'm going to hand it over to you, Clara. We've had an amazing conversation. We've gotten together. We kicked off our sector. They know who we are. They know what we're up to. We have so much more to do. I know we have a magazine to launch in April and we have a date for another launch event for the magazine. And of course, some people are going to be, you know, we're going to come together again. Um, but I'm going to let you, you know, do the toast as our director of strategy and planning. <laughs> wow. What an amazing, amazing evening. It's been such an honor to just sit in and be part of this conversation. Uh, like, I'm a bit lost for words now. It's a good thing that, you know, toasts are notoriously known to fall flat when you leave them too long, right? So I'm going to keep it brief. The one thing that um, certainly in all the conversations we've had and all the expressions, you know, um, that we've shared this evening, the one thing that's been made quite clear is the fact that media is a very powerful tool. In fact, it is one of the most powerful tools in providing not just information. I believe like it's, it's, it's at the intersect or intersection of life, of culture, of relationships, of ideas, of everything. It is so essential to humanity, to people who live together in a society. And it is what binds us together, you know, simplifying it. Um, as, as the very concept of storytelling, that really bring, brings it home for me because media is part of our daily lives. It informs, it inspires, it influences, it entertains, and God knows what else. So I'm really so privileged to be part of this conversation. I just want to say thank you very, very, very much from the bottom of my heart for and on behalf of um, the GMAC uh, team. Uh, we're so grateful for everyone that said yes to us. And I know that um, our director, and I would, I would, it would be remiss of me really to, to say this toast without, first of all, saying thank you to um, our chair. You know, Alex is an amazing person. We're all very much aware of all the heavy lifting that she does behind the scenes. Um, we're aware of the energy that she brings, the passion, and we all feed from it and we all feed into it as well. So I want to I want to say right now that if you have a drink, and please, you should have a drink. If you don't have a drink, why do you not have a drink? <laughs> Let us have a drink. Everyone have something in your hands. Tea, coffee, a drink. I don't know, but have something in your hands. And we're just going to do a quick toast using the five C's that Alex had mentioned and which I mentioned at the start of this. And as I say each C, if you would please raise your glass and repeat after me, that's all we need to do to make this thing work, you know. So um, I would say here is to connection. connection. So you raise your glasses and say connection. connection. And connection. here is to coalition. To coalition. To collaboration. To collaboration. 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 To co-to co-creation. To co-creation. Co co and finally to change. To change. To change. change. Cheers, everyone. Yay. Cheers, everyone. Hey. Excited hey. about the future. Yes. Together. Cheers. 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 Thank you so much for being here. I'm going to turn it back to Alex because I know that um, she'll want to say a few words to bring this to a close. Cheers, well, <laughs> thank you so much for a wonderful toast, uh, Director of Strategy and Planning. That was brilliant. Um, you know, cheers to cheers to connection, to coalition, to collaboration, to co-creation, and to change. Cheers, see all C's. Thank you so much for that. That was amazing. Um, me says in the chat room, cheers and welcome to London. Next week, all to connect and collaborate. I want to see, I can't wait to see you. Please don't hesitate to get in touch if you have any questions and you're new to the city. So for those who may be joining um, our event at the House of Lords in London, the G100 meetings or the G100, there's going to be a lot more meetings. I know some of us are just coming on board and there's still going to be, we have 100 countries to do. We're in country number six. So there's still enough countries to join. There's still enough meetings to be part of. There's a lot that's happening, but we're glad to have you here. Thank you for taking the time. Thank you for being here. Thank you for doing this. Um, it was a pleasure to have you sit with us, share space and time with us and getting to know you. And I look forward to seeing all the all the country clubs expand. Um, I can't wait to meet everyone else. So, so we'll come back again next time for our next event in April, which is the launch of G Woman Magazine. I say I love you. Thank you all. And God bless you.
I'm going to end this session and we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, bye. Thank you so much, Alex.